Hey Lions fans! There was a news story that recently got the web talking. I'm going to give you all the details firsthand, but before we dive into today's exciting news, be sure to hit that like button so you don't miss any updates. We've got a lot to cover, and you don't want to miss out on what's coming up for our Detroit Lions. Let's get to it! Alright Lions fans, today we have some juicy draft news. There's a name that's been heating up on everyone's radar, Jack Sawyer, the star quarterback for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yep, you heard that right. This guy has been tearing it up for Ohio State in 2024, and now he's being touted as a potential target for the Detroit Lions in the upcoming 2025 NFL Draft. Exciting stuff, right? Now, if you've been following Ohio State, you already know how dominant their defense has been this season. They've been a brick wall, and Sawyer has been a big part of that. Alongside guys like Ty Like Williams and Denzel Burke, Sawyer has emerged as a future NFL star. But here's where it gets interesting for us Lions fans. A new mock draft from the 33rd team has our Lions picking Sawyer at number 28 overall. I can already hear you thinking, what makes this guy so special to the Lions? Well, let me explain. Sawyer is a 6 feet 5 inches, 265 pound edge rusher with serious skills. He already has 18 pressures this season, and he's not only a threat in the pass rush, but he's also a beast against the run. Imagine pairing him with Aiden Hutchinson. That's the kind of one-two punch that could really take our defense to the next level. So far this season, Sawyer has put up solid numbers, 17 tackles, 2.5 sacks, and one forced fumble. But it's not just about stats. This guy is a leader. He has that hard-nosed, uncompromising attitude that fits perfectly with the culture Dan Campbell is building here in Detroit. You know the type, a blue-collar work ethic that reflects the identity of our city and our team. He's the kind of player who would thrive in the Lions system. What's also exciting is that Sawyer's stock could rise even higher heading into the draft. Some analysts are already viewing him as a top-20 pick, and if he continues to dominate the rest of the season, that's a real possibility. But here's the thing, if he's still on the board when the Lions are on the clock, he's exactly the kind of player we'd want to grab. The potential for him to be a part of our future is definitely something to keep an eye on. So, Lions fans, what do you think? Is Jack Sawyer the right choice for Detroit? Would you be excited to see him line up alongside Hutchinson? Let us know in the comments below. So, Lions fans, you've probably heard by now, Robert Sala, the longtime popular candidate for the Lions head coaching job, was fired by the New York Jets on Tuesday. That's right, when we were looking for a new head coach after Matt Patricia's departure, Sala, a Michigan native, was a top candidate. But as we all know, Sheila Hamp and the Lions made a bold move and hired Dan Campbell. And boy, are we glad they did. Now, let's go back to that hiring process. At the time, many fans were surprised, and some were even skeptical about Campbell's selection. But look where we are now. For years later, Dan Campbell has transformed this team into a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Meanwhile, Sully's run with the Jets has not been nearly as successful. Sala finished his time in New York with a 20-36 record since taking over in 2021, and a 2-3 start to this year hasn't helped either, especially with the recent loss to the Vikings. While Sala has managed to build a strong defense for the Jets, their offensive struggles have held them back. Even with a veteran like Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, expectations were sky-high, and they simply couldn't deliver. Meanwhile, here in Detroit, Campbell led us from a rocky 3-13-1 first season to a division title in 2023, our first in 30 years. And let's not forget, he took us to our second NFC Championship game. When news of Sally's firing broke, Lions fans couldn't help but feel relieved that Sheila Hamp's decision to hire Campbell paid off. The contrast between Campbell's rise and Sally's fall is hard to ignore, and fans have been vocal on social media expressing their gratitude that we have the right man leading this team. It's clear, Campbell's passion, leadership, and courage have changed this franchise. Now, I want to hear from you, Lions fans. Do you think the Lions made the right decision with Campbell over Sala? How do you feel about the direction this team is headed under Campbell's leadership? 
so this weekend, our Detroit Lions are heading back to AT&T Stadium for a big showdown against the Dallas Cowboys. And let me tell you, there's definitely some unfinished business here. Remember last season? That controversial loss still stings for many of us, and it's no surprise that Dan Campbell hasn't forgotten it either. If you recall, we had that game-changing two-point conversion on our hands, Jared Goff threw a pass to Taylor Decker for the game-winning score, but the referees overruled it. They claimed the Lions failed to properly report an eligible offensive lineman, hitting us with an illegal touching penalty. They said it was Dan Skipper, not Decker, who was eligible. But here's the thing. The replay showed that Detroit followed the rules, and there was no clear evidence that we were violating them. Yet the call stood, and we lost. Yeah, that's still a tough pill to swallow. Dan Campbell was asked earlier this week if he still feels that controlled rage he talked about after that tough loss in Dallas, and his answer? Well, it never goes away. And honestly, can you blame him? But Campbell isn't just looking back, he's looking forward, and he's excited for this one. I'm excited for this one, he said, and I think we all share that sentiment. The Cowboys have had our number for a while now, but this time, we're going for it with everything we've got. Now, let's not forget that the Cowboys are coming off a win. They beat the Steelers in a tough football game on Sunday night, making a late fourth-quarter drive led by Dak Prescott. Campbell acknowledged that this will be a challenging matchup, especially since the Cowboys' defense has been playing well. He even pointed out how the Steelers' offense made things tough, but Dallas still found a way to win. We know we're busy, Campbell said, and he's right. But if there's one thing we know about this Lions team, it's that they thrive when the stakes are high. And this game? It's going to be huge. For Campbell, this matchup also carries extra weight. Growing up in Texas, he watched legends like Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, and Michael Irvin dominate the field. He's talked about listening to Cowboys games on the radio during his teenage years, when those three were making history. It's kind of crazy to think about, Campbell grew up watching those guys and now he's coaching against the team he used to listen to. But as he said, once you're on the field, all that nostalgia goes away, and it's all about finding a way to win. And that's exactly what Campbell is focused on. So, Lions fans, I want to know, how do you feel about this upcoming game? Do you think we'll get revenge for last season's loss? What do you think of Campbell's controlled rage? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Detroit Lions. You won't want to miss what's next. Thanks for watching, and as always, go Lions!